Hey right, guys, I'm back with my TX4. We're gonna install some more, I don't know if you can read that or not, some more brass. It's a, a C hubs. Just generic, there's the part number. Made from China, from Amazon. A little more weight up front. It's got the bushings. We'll go under here. The screws. Two screws for it. So that's what we're gonna be installing guys today. Let's do a little little install. So, so this is the TX3. Get the body off. C-hubs go right up in here. Shouldn't be too hard. I think it's going to be fairly easy. I'm just going to take this one out and this bottom one out. And I'm hoping I might have to take these off too. I think I'll take this one off over here. This one right here. And um, hoping it'll just slide out of there. So let's, uh, let's take this off the stand. Uh, you know what? Let's take the, the wheels off. Just because it's a little easier. No, I'm not going to do that. I have too many screws on the side. <laughs> so we're going to do it without that. Don't lose those just in case. I keep all my other parts just in case. If you can see that or not. Let's move this over. Alright, there's one under here. That's it. This one's probably full of wood and gunk. Yeah. Wood and dirt. I'm gonna run it in my course in the backyard. There we go. Let's see if that pulls out. Oh, I might do that. Huh? Oh no, it's gonna be stuck in there. Alright, we're gonna have to remove that too. Let me find a little tool for that. Use the little use one of these. It's perfect. These are the aftermarket. The ones you on a sport, the stock ones. Don't come with these nuts down here. These uh, brass inner portal covers, or inner portals I got. Or, um, whew, that was tough. We're um, aftermarket, so I had to go out and find some nuts to fit on these. Hmm, that's tough, guys. See if I have something a little better for that. I don't know why that's so hard. Brute force. <laughs> I 
I don't think I'll have to take the other one off because it should the whole piece should just fall right out. And I do have a washer under there too that I put under. Put little washers for it. Alright. That should come right out of there. Hmm. Being stubborn today, fellas. Huh. I didn't put Loctite on that, that's why. That is why. Now we're gonna get the pull that out. <clears throat> Let's get this back up here. Still see that? Okay. So there are three screws right there. One, two, three. I believe they are going to be a 2, 2.0 hit, yep. so. Open. One of these open. I believe they're both the same. They look both the same. Yep. So, go like that. They only go on one way. Single screw up on top. And I'm going to use the new hardware just because it's there. with these ones which we'll use later actually I'm, I might not know oh yeah I can all right but you gotta reuse these these uh I don't know what they're called they're flat heads because they countersink in there so and um, these are just going in a plastic, back in a plastic, so you don't need 
You don't need any thread lock. I'm just going to snug this first one up and get it. She looks really nice. Going there well. See that? I'm gonna zoom in on that for you guys. And here you got one on top, the two on the bottom. Nice and flush. Same as same as that one. See how it has the grooves in there? It's got a flat spot here and then a arch shaped up here on the top. So you know it goes in the right way, okay? And this bad boy goes in like this. Like I said, sometimes it's gonna be, be hard to line it up, so you might have to spin the tire to get it to, there you go. See, and there's some slop here, so I'm gonna put this spacer in from the, from the bottom here. Right. And this one is most likely needs to go in from the top, I believe. So, we're going to take this and put it on its side. that to slide out I don't want them to stay in there so I'm gonna take this one and make sure this is up in the top yeah. that'll be a top like that you guys can't see that right now but okay so I could not be able to show you guys that but okay I need to get it in there to where it's tight so you don't have the slop all right so I'm gonna put one of these screws in um, What did I do with all those other parts? Oh, I put them over here somewhere. There they are. I just want to make sure these are long enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That one, though. that one's still in there. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for that long one. Make sure these are the same length. No, we might need to. They gave us shorter ones, so let's try the shorter ones because I don't want to put it too long. So let me find my Loctite. So we Loctite these because they are going into brass. Can you 
guys see that? No, probably not. No, let's see. Let's move this car over a little bit. There you go. All right. So we're going to put here. Very lightly, I didn't crank it down. Still wanna then we're gonna tip this one over. And that brass piece is still in there. You can see it sitting in there. Right. Still see that little, I don't know if you really can see it moving around. and tight there. Still a little more play than I want in that one, but maybe tightening this side up will help it. Maybe a little looser than I want, but not too bad. Yeah, I said it was a little loose too, so. Might throw a shim in there eventually, maybe like a washer up here, huh? Wonder if we can. No, because that's underneath, huh? Yeah. to find a big enough washer to go up in there. Oh, it's gonna be good for now. I don't know if you guys can see that, let's see. Just a little shim. I'll have to find a washer for that eventually. That's a little, a little too much for me. I'll try to bend that brass down a little bit. So, all right. That's uh, how you install the C-Hub. So I'm gonna install this other one because it's uh, pretty much the same thing. So you guys don't have to watch it again. <laughs> so, and I'll be back with the finished product. All right, I'm back guys. So, sorry you're a little crooked right now, but I had to move you over to this little corner over here, on my workbench. But these are the brass pieces that I've been putting in, All right? They go in here. They stick out pretty far right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's move you in there a little bit. <clears throat> so right here, the tube right. It's a little bit of brass still sticking out here. You can see when I push in, pushes it out. So I've been filing that down to where it just comes out a little bit because you want a little bit so the screw sits on it so it'll turn nice and smooth. But they were pretty long, and that's why I was getting a lot of slop in it. So, I just take my little file and I put it on the ground here. You can't see that either. Sorry, guys, but... Where are, there it is. 
probably won't be able to see what I'm doing anyways, but I'm just taking it and sliding it across, filing it down a little bit. And just do a little at a time so you don't go too much. If you go past the point and you screw it down, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be loose to where it turns easily. You're gonna clamp and clamp it rather than So if you want the screw would come in this way, that piece is going to be there, just a tiny bit. It actually looks like it can go a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more. Still a lot there. It only moves a tiny bit there, so I think we're going to be good here. Let's uh, put this one back in. Much better, guys. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's, let's put that down. I'll lift this up. It just moves a tiny bit. It still free. It flows free. Nice. So I'm going to have to do the other side one more time, I think. Still, I still have some slop in there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna file those down. So I will. Good. I don't know if you can see under there or not, but these things don't move at all now. I know there's just a tiny, if you see that little screw right there. 
Let's try to zoom in a little bit here. Just see, just see a tiny bit of movement there. Same with this side. This screw right here. Just a tiny bit. And that's what you want. You want them tight, but you don't want slop. So, and then uh, I put everything back here. And then when I put this bolt back on, I did put Loctite back on it because the, you know, they're, I don't know, we used to call them airplane nuts, but they got the rubber washer on the inside, so it locks in. But it's just, you know, a couple threads on, you know, just, just past it, so I like to throw a little Loctite on those. Plus you get a lot of, a lot of movement with your steering and stuff, so I throw Loctite on those, so. All right, guys. Oh. I also turned my bumper up today. I, tur I turned this upside down. I'm sure uh, this was reversed. So these four screws right here. One here, one here, and then on the same side here. And it was turned the other way. So I just pulled it out, turned it upside down, and then took these two screws out. Which are right here. In here pulled those out and just turned everything upside down so but then you got to cut your bumper and that's just the front one I didn't want to you they tell you to do the back one if you want make it really high but I didn't think I, we needed to do that so let's back you up a little bit here so you just had to trim up here and then this up a little higher and you can just follow it. I filed it down. I didn't do a good enough job there, but I filed it down, and then I just cut with the with the shape of the bumper. Right. So let's see if we can get this on here real quick. Okay. So I just raised it up a. I don't know half an inch or so, which is going to be a lot, you know, out in the, out in the rocks. So, and I just, uh, like I said, I just shaved, just went straight up. I didn't want to go too far up because then it starts looking a little, not following the path. So, all right, and that's what I've done to it today. So, that I didn't do online. It was kind of tedious, uh, or I mean, not online, but on camera. So that's just something simple, like I said, just flipping over the the mount and then taking the taking the bumper out and flipping that over too, you know, back the right way, putting it back in the number two hole, and then um, and pretty much just setting your bumper your 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 body on the on the bumper and looking at where it needs to be trimmed, and once you get it, you know, close, then you can actually you know do your final cutting if you want you know you just need to get it close like I said they some guys take the back one and flip it upside down and put it up front but then you got to cut way up here right under the grill and it looks kind of I guess if you're doing some major crawling and stuff and you need the front bumper and all that then that's something but like I said it's still more of a trail truck so and I took the fake winch off the front thinking about maybe getting a real winch or something of that nature so we'll see all right um thanks for watching um like subscribe uh, share with a friend then we get some more uh more subscribers so i appreciate it thanks for watching